Hello everyone, in this video we are going to show you the solution of problem number one in the worksheet of chapter number five, which is about how to calculate the duration gap. The balance sheet of ABC Bank is shown below. We have the assets, the amount of each asset along with its duration, and the liabilities and equity, of course the amount and duration of liabilities and equity are equal to 300. Total assets and total liabilities and net worth are equal to $1,700. Question A. Calculate the duration of this balance sheet. We know that the duration gap is equal to the duration of assets minus the total liabilities over total assets times the duration of liabilities. We don't have the duration of assets and that of liabilities. So first of all, we need to determine the duration of assets and that of liabilities. The duration of assets is equal to the amount of assets times its duration in years and make sure that the duration is in years. So 300 times 1 plus 600 times 5 plus 0 since the non-earning assets do not have a duration so 800 times 0 years so it's equal to 0 divided by the total assets 1,700. In this case, the duration of assets will be equal to 1.94 years. Regarding the duration of liabilities, it's similar. The amount times the duration in years, so 600 times 1 plus 800 times 3. And make sure not to include the equity because they are not part of liabilities. So divided by the total liabilities, which is the 1,700 minus the 300. In this case, it would be equal to 2.14 years. The duration gap is 1.94 minus the total liabilities, 1,400, divided by the total assets times the duration of liabilities that has been already calculated. In this case, the duration gap will be equal to 0 0.18 years. Let's now move to part B. Assuming that the required rate of return is 10%, when we say that the required rate of return is 10%, this means that the bank receives 10% on its assets and pays 10% for its liabilities. So what would be the effect on the bank's net worth or equity if interest rates increased by 2%? So they are now 12%. The change in net worth would be the variation in percentage. It's equal to minus the duration gap times the variation in interest over 1 plus the initial interest. So minus 0 0.18 that has been already calculated times the variation in interest, which is a new minus old, so 12% minus the 10% or simply because they have said that it increased by 2%, so it's plus 2%. And if they say that it is decreasing by 2%, we should put here minus 2%. So finally, it's 2 divided by 1 plus the initial interest, which is the 10%, so 1 plus 0 0.1. In this case, the variation in net worth will be equal to minus 0.327%. So then the net worth will be decreasing by 0.327%. If we need to determine the variation in net worth in dollar amount, it would be equal to its variation in percentage times the total assets. In this case, we can say that the net worth will be decreasing by $5.559.